1.6 million Californians signed the petition to recall Governor Gavin Newsom. Valid signatures are still being counted and the deadline to withdraw signatures is June 8th. One of the candidates vying for governor is to unseat the current sitting governor is Doug Osi, a former congressman, who joins us now from the hermetically sealed COVID-19 proof <laughs> interview station. Mr. Osi, welcome to KUSI. Well, thank you, Paul. This is a great setup you got here. Yeah, there's no bear behind you or anything, is there? No, that w I wouldn't put up with stunts. <laughs> All, right. So. All right, well, let, this is basically, I, I can't remember the exact date, but this is about the one-month check-in with you. Can you tell us the state of your campaign? Yes, we are on the road constantly. I've been up and down the state three or four times already in the last month, uh, getting very positive response, communicating a message about how things need to, how things can be compared to how things are. People are tired of lockdown. They're tired of schools not doing their job. They're tired of public safety being compromised, and they're vocal about it. And we're connecting. You're one of the three or four recognizable names in the field that, when I last saw, there were about 26 people in. We keep saying there's going to be more and more names thrown in, hats thrown into the ring. When will we start seeing that? I actually think the act of setting the election, the date, will be the kickoff for that. And I think you'll see a rush of people forward. I expect to have 100 candidates on this ballot. So, uh, so all right, so then the rush will be when, once they set the date for... Yes. Okay, fair enough. That, makes, that would make sense. That would, that would align with what happened last time with Gray Davis. Correct, right? correct. Okay, so is your life now fundraising or is your life... <laughs> Getting the message out, I mean, are you well healed? How, how is your campaign going to be financed? Well, my, I spend every day in hermetically sealed studios such as this, talking to people up and down the state. I'm getting a very positive response. People have been writing checks to help the campaign. Uh, it's raise money, collect endorsements, make connections. We really don't yet have an election set. So we're still a little premature for the larger voter body to be paying attention, but we're getting in position to take advantage of that when it happens. It's a tough slog. I think huh. anybody says it's a slugger's chance to unseat a sitting governor. Well, first of all, do you, uh, uh, do you agree with that assessment? I do think it's uphill for a Republican. And part of the problem is Republicans for years have talked about things that don't affect people's everyday lives. And I've said that's the wrong approach. I talk about things that make a difference in people's life, like price of gas, price of, fuel, price of electricity in your house, what's a gallon of milk cost, are your kids safe at school? You talk about things that connect with people, people will connect back. And I've been very successful at that. And the other thing is that you have to distinguish yourself from other names like John Correct. Cox, Kevin Faulkner, and of course Jenner. And, and, and anybody else who throws their hat into the ring. Do, will there be so, so much bickering between all of you that you'll lose sight on what the true objective is? Well, I, th I think this is a referendum on Gavin Newsom, and we all need to focus on that. His performance in office has been lacking, and we need to have a discussion about whether he should continue. That's what I focus on. What I specifically bring to the table is experience on the private sector that's been successful, and given my tenure in Congress, experience in the public sector that was very successful for my constituents. So the others can make their own case. But what I offer is successful, tested experience in, cha in dealing with the challenges in front of us. I would think as candidates, you would all get together unofficially and say, hey, let's keep our eyes on the prize and, and combine our money as opposed, because the sitting governor is going to have such, a, such an advantage in both finances and and, you know, airtime, TV airtime. Well, it, politics is a contact sport, and uh, I doubt that we're all going to get together and share our money. <laughs> well, you, you know what I mean? Sh not share your money, but share your message as far as, uh, as, as far as unseating the governor. Well, one of the tests, Paul, of a good candidate is defining a message. And if everybody's got the same message, then what's the, different, what's the difference between them? I think there are differences between the candidates not the least of which is the experience that I bring that the others don't. So I'm going to let them make their case, and I'm going to make mine, and we're going to let the voters decide. All right, so I suspect you'll be seeing that hermetically sealed interview room <laughs> repeatedly in the coming months, right? Well, I look forward to it.
All right, Mr. Doug Osi, thank you for making time for KUSI. We'll see you uh, soon again, I'm sure. Have a great day, Paul. Right, have a great holiday, sir. You bet. It's a